I think this was really his breakout game. It wasn't crazy yardage, but, you know, he only got four catches for 54 yards. I uh, had the one rush for 20 yards and then the punt return for 25 yards. Yeah. But I just think it still, was. You, you add that all up. That's the, uh, I believe he led the team in, in all purpose yards, kind of really contributing in all three of the areas there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I think, you know, but it was really the manner in which he did it. You know, I think he had a, the, the, the tough catch. Um, uh, uh, I, I forget the, what the down and distance was. I think it was third and one um, down in the red zone where he made a really good play on a tough catch. He had the diving catch. Um, that there was a penalty on too, um, that I think it, it would have been pass interference regardless. Um, that was a really good play. The pump return was really good. You know, he had the ru- the, the the end around carry where he made one guy miss. Um, and he had the, uh, I think it was the first or second play of the game, where it was a, a wide receiver screen and he made a guy miss there too. So you saw a tough diving catch. You saw, uh, you know, a, a, a big difficult catch on, uh, on a third down, making guys miss in the open field, uh, a punt return just, you know, the kind of the all around skill set that, that really he brings that nobody else on the team brings on offense, except maybe maybe Marcus Jones. But we obviously haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, so I just think, you know, we'll see if he's able to continue this. We'll see if Demario Douglas does turn into the next great Patriots slot receiver. Um, but I think this was the first sign that you've gotten that maybe he could turn into that player. And while maybe bringing more than some of those players did, because I do think he has more of a raw sort of electrifying skill set than a Julian Elliman, a Wes Welker, uh, uh, you know, maybe even a Troy Brown. That's not to say he's anywhere nearly as good as those guys, because those guys were, you know, elite, elite, just pure receivers. But just from a raw athleticism uh, and ability standpoint, you know, he's he's as good as anybody they've had in a long time. And you see where Mac Jones is going to him in these games too, especially in this game. This was really the, the breakout performance that a lot of us who have watched him since the spring were kind of, waiting for it you knew it was going to happen eventually uh this was easily the largest workload he's gotten so far in his career with Juju Smith-Schuster not playing in this game and you see you see Mac Jones going to him on third down you see him going to him in the red zone uh Douglas had a, a red zone reception on all three of the Patriots touchdown drives in this game he drew three penalties I believe at least two I believe three uh he just really impacted the game yeah. uh in a lot of ways uh that uh, as you you mentioned earlier, I don't think the traditional stat line really uh, kind of encompasses everything that he was able to bring. Uh, we'll get into it a little bit later. I think that he needs to be a, a kind of fixture starring role in this offense moving forward uh, because just the the tackle breaking ability, the elusiveness, the quickness, the playmaking playmaking ability, it's just something that nobody else on this team really has been able to replicate at all this season. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.